Greetings, this is Professor Lazarus and we will continue in part two of our discussions involving cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold. As you may recall, in part one, we had gone through a series of calculations that culminated in the cost of goods sold calculations of $10,300. Continuing with that discussion, I want to show you in this lecture, where does this fit into the financial statement? Specifically, if you look at uh, the illustration here, this is an illustration of our company, Morgana Manufacturing, and this is a partial income statement for the year ended December 31st, 2011. So we have sales revenue of $35,000, and then from the sales revenue, we subtract a cost of goods sold, and the cost of goods sold calculations is basically what we had done earlier in, the, in part one. So those same calculations now are transplanted into our income statement, and as you can see, it's the same $10,300 cost of goods sold calculation. So when you subtract your cost of goods sold from your sales revenue, you end up with a gross profit of $24,700. Now, the point, the additional point I want to make here is this, that you, you recall from our part one, the cost of goods manufactured involved and included a variety of items, your various product costs like your direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. So let's take any one of those items for a moment, direct materials, wood. The point here is this, that when you purchased your wood, direct material, it went into your inventory account, your raw materials inventory account, which is an asset. And then it flowed into your work in process account, another asset. And then it flowed into your finished goods inventory account, another asset account. However, when your product was sold, that finished goods finally flowed into your cost of goods sold account, which is an expense account. And that is your wood, direct material wood costs only got expensed at the time of sale, not when you purchased it. So if there was a two or three month delay from the time you purchased it, from the time you purchased your wood till the time you sold your table, then remember this again, that that direct material cost did not get expensed until it was sold and again, it was, when it's sold, it's reflected in your cost of goods sold account. And this is true of all of your product costs. They only get expensed at the time of sale and that expense account is your cost of goods sold account. This is quite different from your period costs. Your period costs, if you recall, are expensed at the time you incurred them. What is a period cost? Very broadly, a period cost is a non-factory related cost. For example, your president's salary, or the controller's salary, or rent on your office building. These would all be examples of period costs. And these period costs would be expensed in the period in which they were incurred. And with that, I want to conclude our discussions on the cost of goods manufactured, as well as the cost of goods sold. And again, this is Professor Lazarus signing off. And as I always like to say, we accountants work our assets off. Thank you.